then you get a wrap. Okay. Because then we'll add everything together. <coughs> the time. Yeah, that's fine. All right, and then you're ready. Like saw three, two. Welcome back to the best of investing. I'm Edward Brown, your host, and along with my co-host Mark Hunt of Pacific Private Money, we are in the studio with Bill Diamond, an expert in mediation. When we cut to the second commercial, we asked this trivia question. Matt Damon appeared in the remake of the movie True Grit. It just came out about a year or two ago, right? Yeah, it was good. It was, it was a good movie. It actually, I, personally, I liked it better than the original. Uh, but who played his part in the original True Grit movie opposite John Wayne? Hint, he was a country singer. All right, who knows the answer? Uh, Phil again. Glenn Campbell. Glenn Campbell. That is right. Very good. Um, the first three uh, callers with the correct answer want a free three-day, two-night stay at the Lighthouse Resort. Phil, take it away. You've got some great stuff about arbitration and mediation. Well, we were talking before the break about uh, why people might want to consider mediation and what some of the advantages are. And one of the things that we hadn't talked about yet is the fact that contrary to the litigation process and a public uh, trial, Mediation is confidential. It's behind private. closed doors. Yeah. It's a private process. Oh, that's a good point. And if Absolutely. there are issues in a mediation dispute that the parties would not want to have aired out in public, mediation is the way to resolve them. Uh, in addition, there are certain privileges we call the mediation privilege of confidentiality, which uh, provide that things that are said during the course of a mediation are to be kept confidential. Uh, we talked a bit uh, before about the fact that the parties control both the outcome and the timing of the process. Most importantly though, and this contrasts with the uh, litigation or even arbitration process, is uh, the fact that it is a collaborative process and the parties can come together and craft a creative outcome in a way that neither an arbitrator nor a judge or a jury could do. Well, I just, I just like the fact that, you know, you know, if you have a partnership and you've got a dispute, you know, this is such an, a, a, an advantageous way to bring a third party in, someone who sure. is adept at bringing parties together. Well, unless you're trying to punish the other person. Right, right? Exactly. Because at the trial, it's a win-lose situation. Exactly. But mediation, it's, look, I may not like you, but we got to come to some, you know, unless I'm trying to punish you, you don't want to spend a bunch of money. And the issue might not money. be lawsuit-worthy anyway, but still there's, yeah. I mean, you know, again, I've just been involved in enough partnerships to know that, you know, just there get, always gets to a point where you feel like I'm doing all the work and he's doing nothing, or this, yeah. this, this, the way we we're, we're divvying up the profits just isn't working, or right. you know, and, and and yet you you just you don't have the the relationship or the ability to settle it amongst yourselves. There's too much emotion involved. A yeah, absolutely, point. the the mediator is there as a safety valve, if you will. Think of it as a pressure cooker with that relief valve on top yeah. to help that emotion yeah. get out of the problem and to resolve it by looking rationally and helping the parties looking rationally at how to do that. And Mark, the point that you raise, and it's a great one, is that it's perfect for those situations where the dispute is between people who have a pre-existing relationship that they want to preserve. Mm -hmm. For example, a business partnership. Wow. So do you find that after mediation, a lot of times they can get back to business Absolutely. Again? Wow, that's, that's... Absolutely. It's like marriage counseling. Well, in a way, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's true. In a, in a way it is. And the, the gold standard, really, for mediators is not <coughs> only getting the dispute resolved, or I should say more properly, helping the parties to get the dispute resolved because, of course, they're the ones that ultimately control whether it's resolved or not. But then the next step, and that is helping to resolve the relationship between the parties that brought the dispute to, to you to begin with. Yeah. Well, you know, you mentioned uh, marriage counseling. I wonder, instead of hiring a $500 an hour attorney, you hire a $150 uh, marriage counselor for a non-marriage <laughs> situation. That's not Because they know the psychology, right? <laughs> right? Not a bad idea. Well, one, Sorry, one of, the, no, no problem. One, <laughs> one of the questions you asked earlier also, Mark, was uh, why is it that some people are resistant to put arbitration clauses in their contracts? Yeah, I see that a lot. Yeah, there, there are actually a couple of different schools of thought on that. There are some people who are totally pro-arbitration. There are others who are against it. And some of the reasons that people may want to shy away from arbitration are number one, uh, it, it does have an expense associated with it, and particularly if there is going to be the same type of discovery, which we talked about earlier, that there would be in a lawsuit, and oftentimes there is. But who would, who would be against mediation if you could make it binding? Well, it is binding by, by definition, with the fact being that it's binding when the parties reach an agreement. agreement. Okay, so who would be against that? 
I, I don't know I who mean, would be against yeah. that. I mean, I mean, any contract that you're... Well, you wouldn't be, we were talking more, more again, the arbitration side. There are people who would prefer a full-blown jury trial than arbitra than having an arbitration clause in a contract. Oh, okay, so we're not comparing mediation. No, we're no, no, no. comparing just a straight lawsuit right. versus yeah, you have to arbitration. arbitration. Uh, and, and a couple of other things that people don't always know, an arbitration outcome is, with limited exceptions, non-appealable. Hmm. Which means that if uh, if there is a crazy outcome, it's final, it's over. And of course, the good news is there it puts an end to the process and an end to the expense. The bad news is arbitrators are not bound to follow the yeah. law well, or so even rules of evidence. But in wait a minute, hold on though. If you so if you go to full blown trial yeah. and you don't like the outcome. You can at least try to appeal. A lot of times, you, you, the uh, judges won't let it go further, but at least you have the opportunity to try to appeal it. Right. But in arbitration, you don't even have that ability. Right. Wow. Yeah. And yeah, you really take your chances on that. And that's not widely known, but that is no. one reason that there are some people that, that uh, as a matter of habit, will not put arbitration clauses in their in their contracts. Well, I guess the people that are against the arbitration clause would be the person who believes that the, the person who wrote the contract who included that obviously did because they felt there was an advantage to them in sure. doing so. Sure. That's a good point. So one of the things we haven't talked about is are there any disadvantages to mediation? Yes. And uh, the answer is like everything, sure, sure there are. Uh, but they all arise from the fact that it is a voluntary process. And because it's voluntary, Number one, you cannot force the other side to engage in the mediation process. Yeah, but that's not a disadvantage to mediation. That's just a, somebody may not right. say, say, listen, I don't even want to mediate it. But that's not a disadvantage to I, I, I would right. agree. It's like the husband who says, I am not I'm going to counsel <laughs> <laughs> And of course, the, 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 the next part of that is that there is no guarantee that there will actually be an outcome in the mediation. And, and, so, and at that point, all your re... Well, I was going to say, part of it you were talking about then is the cost of mediation. Sure. So that's a downside. Sure. Uh, but potentially, if you mediate and don't come to a conclusion, I wonder if there's any strategy situations that come up in that that wouldn't have come up. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. So let's talk about that in a couple of contexts. Number one... People should understand that well over 90% of all cases that are filed so get like settled the, at the, some yeah, point in a way. So the, the question that I ask the parties as a mediator usually is, do you want to do that now? Or do you want to do it two or three or four years from now after you've spent tens oh, of thousands is, or hundreds boy, of thousands? Boy, is that a great leading to to question? That That's a great leading. That really puts people in the mindset of, it's going to cost me a lot of money later on, mm -hmm. and I'm probably going to end up settling. I, I bet a lot of people come in right, right away and they go, mm -hmm. I refuse to settle, I refuse, I want such and such. They do, and, and my role as a mediator, Edward, is to help, in, and this is how I would define it, is to help the parties to fully understand the issues, the risks of going forward through trial, Absolutely. and the cost that will be associated with it, and then based upon that full set of information to make an informed, what is really a business decision as to what to do. Well, you know, that's a great point. Because I was, we were in mediation one time uh, because we had a contractor we thought was just the contractor from hell. And the amount that was in dispute uh, ended up being about $35,000. And it was just enough to be painful, yeah. to say, you know what, we went to mediation and emotionally, this was my own house. So, you know, I, I was charged about it and so with my wife, but we both made the business decision that it was best to settle for, I think it was $15,000 versus, yeah, we might have won, not we might have lost, but, but for sure we were going to spend at least 25000 in exactly. court costs. So you, that's where you have to really put your business head on. Exactly. And of course, the other cost associated with going the litigation route is what we sometimes refer to as the transactional cost, which is the time it's going to take you from what you otherwise should be doing with your Absolutely. life. Absolutely. And the emotional investment. Yep during the entire time of the process. And, and, and putting your files together, knowing, okay, in six months we're gonna be going to, to and we gotta practice this. Absolutely, absolutely. So a couple of other things that we were gonna talk about if we do have time. Uh, one is, uh, in, in what types of disputes uh, is mediation appropriate? Okay. And the simple answer is really all disputes. All disputes, yeah. yeah. All right, uh, Phil, stick around. Uh, we're going to be cutting to commercial break. We'll, we'll, uh, whatever we don't cover today, I know we have a lot more information. We'll definitely have you on again. 
Uh, we've been in the studio with Phil Diamond, uh, who is an expert in mediation. And uh, Phil, before we forget, how do people get a hold of you if they are interested in hiring you as a mediator? Sure. My firm is Diamond Dispute Resolution, www.diamonddisputeresolution.com, and you can reach me with questions at 415-492-4500. Excellent. Okay, we are coming to the third and final trivia question. Who is the only Yankee to join the 3,000 Hit Club? The first three callers with the correct answer win a free three-day, two-night stay at Lighthouse Resort. Their website is lighthouseforfun.com. Call 888-912-1190. That's 888-912-1190. Write that down. To answer this question, who is the only Yankee, and obviously we're talking about the New York Yankees, to join the 3,000 Hit Club? 888-912-1190. Make sure to include your name, address, and phone number, and we'll be right back. Very cheater. 